Hi, welcome to the cPanel tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use cPanel's Git version control interface. This feature allows you to easily host Git repositories on your cPanel account. So why would you want to host repositories on your cPanel account? A repository is a collection of files or packages on your local machine. Git's version control software tracks changes in a system of files, so multiple users can manage them simultaneously. It does all of this through the use of repositories. Each repository in Git stores a project's files and the revision history for those files as they change over time. While Git's main use is software development, you can use it to maintain any set of files, even simple text files. Git offers many features that allow you to view information about your revisions and files, find the user or change that caused an issue, and redact or reapply changes on the fly. For more information, read Git's documentation. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Let's find the Files section, and then click Git Version Control. The Git Version Control interface will appear. The main interface displays a list of the repositories on my cPanel account, but I don't have any yet. Let's click Create to create a new one. A new interface will appear. Now, you have two options. You can either clone a repository or create a completely new one. The Clone a Repository toggle determines whether I want to clone a repository from another source. GitHub is a common source for repositories. Cloning means that I'm making a copy of the repository. Then I can use Git to send my changes to the repository I cloned. If you want to create a completely new repository so that you can start from scratch on a new project, click the toggle next to clone a repository to disable it. This will remove the clone URL section. But we're going to clone a repository today, so I'll go ahead and toggle it back. The interface enables cloning by default. If you're cloning a repository, you'll also need to enter your clone URL in the clone URL text box. Clone URLs begin with HTTPS, SSH, or Git. You can find this URL with the repository you're going to clone. For most repository hosts, it's pretty easy to find. On GitHub, for example, it's displayed in the code menu. I'm cloning cPanel's Elevate repository from GitHub. The repository I am cloning is a public repository. This means that anyone can access it and contribute to it. Private repositories allow you to save your code without having it available to the public. Accessing a private repository with your cPanel account requires an SSH key. You can also clone a private repository. When you clone a private repository, you must use the SSH URL. For more information on private repositories and their requirements, read our guide to Git Set Up Access to Private Repositories documentation. I'll put a link to that documentation in the description below. Next, in the Repository Path text box, enter the path to the directory that you want to store the repository in. The system automatically fills in this value, but you can change it if you want to use something else. This should point to a directory in your cPanel account's home directory. You can only store a single repository in a directory, so you'll need to use a directory that doesn't already contain a repository. If the directory doesn't already exist, the system will create it along with the repository. It's important to note that there are some special characters that you can't include in the path. You also can't create repositories in cPanel control directories and you can't use relative directories when you enter the path. In the Repository Name text box, enter the name that you want the cPanel interface to display for your new repository. This name just makes it easy to identify your repositories, so you can enter any name you'd like. The system automatically fills in this value, but you can change it if you want to use something else. Click Create to create the new repository. Now, the repository table displays the repository that I just created. If you cloned a very large repository, it might take the system a while to finish cloning it. cPanel will handle that part in the background and let you know when it's done. 
While Git's busy cloning the repository, you can only view the repository name and path. That's because we don't have the info yet to show you everything else. Okay, it looks like the cloning is done. For each repository, this table shows the repository name and repository path. You can click Manage to update the repository settings, but we'll get to that part in a second. You can click History to navigate to the Git Web interface, which lets you view the repository's history and files. Or you can click Remove to end cPanel's management of the repository. If you click Remove and then click Remove again, you won't see the repository in the interface anymore, but the files will remain on your system. Since we don't want to remove the repository right now, I'll go ahead and click Cancel. When you remove a repository from the Git version control interface, you can still access the repository, but you can only interact with it on the command line. If you want to remove the repository from your server completely, you can remove its files manually in the File Manager interface or with any other method you like. To see more information about the repository, click the arrow next to the repository name. This will show you the repository's active branch information and the repository's path. To open the repository's directory in cPanel's File Manager interface, click File Manager. A new browser tab will open. Be careful what you do here, though. If you make modifications to or delete the Git directory, it could break your repository. Now, let's go back to that Manage button. Click Manage, and a new interface will appear. This part of the interface has two tabs. In the Basic Information tab, you can change the repository's display name or check out a different branch. Just enter or select what you want, and then click Update. You can also view information about the branch of the repository that's currently checked out. This includes information about the most recent or head commit. You can click History to go to GitWeb, and the remote URL here is the same as the one in the list of repositories. In the Pull or Deploy tab, you can view the repository path and the remote URL. You can see the currently checked out branch and head commit information here too. Under Last Deployment Information, if you've ever deployed the repository, you'll see information about that last deployment here. Click Update from Remote to retrieve new changes from the remote repository. Click Deploy Head Commit to deploy new changes from the cPanel hosted repository. If you want to know more about deployment and how it works, watch our Git version control deployment video for all the details. I'll put the link in the description below. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.net or follow cPanel on social media. Thanks so much for watching.